A family resides inside my mind. Their unhealthy spirits are daunting. They curse each other and throw scriptures of sin, dews of poison. I will drink, one of them shouts. No, I, says the other. One drop of poison does it all. One is satiated, the other waits. Outside, the poison takes full effect. Silence has the poison first. She consumes it in small, small gulps. And when she is done, she halts. Such is the strength of that poison, that venom. I am rendered immediately inaudible. People ask me as they walk by, their face is shifting into, hum into humane concern. Are you okay? One of them asks. Are you fine? The other says. Well, I say I'm okay. I'm fine. But my spirit has different things to voice, to endure. What else can it do? It's being murdered slowly, prick by prick, in broad daylight, under the shadow of silence. But the silence cannot be heard. It silences. And then, when that gut-wrenching question is asked, I can see but cannot hear the storms and hurricanes destroying the fragments of my mind. I cannot hear the howls of my own torment. I can neither discern the sound of my own cries, nor be heard. Like this, like this only 15 minutes have passed. I have endured only one torch and now I must face the other. Obsession holds possession of the poison next. She consumes it in large, large gulps and when she is done, she starts to move. Suddenly in a flash, my movements are paralyzed. A roaring current of events drown my mind. I, of all things, am compelled to puke. But you see, I can't. I'm walking on the street and the eyes of many are open and aware. Obsession plays my worst nightmares repeatedly. And they continue. As I have not yet earned the reward of a lifelong gap between them. She makes me think of grotesque things, of dark ends. Am I normal? What if I am normal? What if I'm pretending? The question mark soon becomes my most dreaded symbol. It is the bringer of inauspicious outcomes, of my own death. Like this, like this, I've forgotten how much time has passed. I look at my watch, only half an hour has fled. Now as one leaves, the other comes in. Numbness holds possession of the poison last. But she doesn't drink it, she smells it. And that one scent is enough to intoxicate my whole being as it puts my emotions to death. My face is carved stone. I have forgotten the sentiment of being a human. I can see the world now, but I fail to understand it. I read the words, yet I cannot know what they mean. And I am aware of my own existence, yet I cannot feel my life. Like this? Like this? Only five minutes have passed. The numbness does it for me, I walk back home. I think barely 50 minutes have passed, we've not even been out. Then I realize those 50 minutes have been the most painful and my pace is immediately quickened. I reach the four walls of my home and sit on the couch, but I, I am not given a break. The whole cycle starts again, this time only with greater intensity. Now you think it ends there, it doesn't. Because you see, a family resides outside my mind and their spirits are anything but daunting. They each take my vices away and fill my heart with a peace I have never known. My question marks are soon answered. My cycle for a momentary time paused. They tell me and they tell me sweetly, it will be fine and I believe it. And that's when they make me realize, I make myself realize that depression is not a cycle, it's a spiral. And every step I choose to breathe, every step I choose to walk, and every hour I decide to give it just one more day is an act of courage. It is an act of bravery stronger than we will ever know. Thank you. <laughs>